There you go. Baking soda. Thank you. Oh, wow. You've been busy. What's all this? Well, while you were gone, I took the fish and chip paper and I took some paste and I paper mache a volcano with a plastic bottle in the middle of it. You are resourceful. <gasps> it kind of looks like a volcano. Well done. Yes, but it's a dormant volcano right now. Mm -hmm. I think we should try and make it erupt. Oh, I think so too. <laughs> So the most important ingredient was what you brought, the baking soda. Now, baking soda is a base. So we're going to pour some of this baking soda base into the volcano. We want this to look like a real volcano. So lava is what colour? Uh, red. Red. So I'm going to put a little bit of red food colouring in there to make it look like real lava. Now, our final part of our reaction comes from vinegar, which I put on my chips. Oh, yeah. It's pretty good. Now, vinegar is an acid, and acids react with bases, and we know that the bicarbonate was a base, so what do you think is going to happen when I pour this into here? Um, one acid, one base, pantry ingredients in a fake hill. I'm going to say I have no idea. Huh. Well, we'll have to see what happens. Are you ready? I have never been more ready for anything in my entire life. OK, here we go. So what you can see were those bubbles, and those bubbles are the gas carbon dioxide. And carbon dioxide is what is formed when you react an acid and a base, which is baking soda and vinegar. Oh, my goodness. It made a great volcano. Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, I'd have to say, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> it's wonderful. What should we call it? Well, I think we should call it Mount Fern. <gasps> I think that's perfect. <laughs> Let's do it again. Again? Okay. Are you ready? Oh my goodness. This is Here we so go. Awesome. 